Hi and welcome. We are Sonica Tinker here. My name is Christian Peterson. We are the founders of the Lovework Solution. Today we're going to be talking with you about how personal stress affects our relationships and what we can do about it. Yeah, and there's no question about it that personal stress spills over into our relationships. It does affect every aspect of our life and it tends to be contagious. So my stress will kind of transfer to you and you get stressed over my stress. <laughs> <laughs> and when we get stressed, we have high levels of cortisol running through our systems, which counteracts the hormones that are running through our system when we're feeling connected. So it's no wonder that stress produces disconnection in relationship. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna first give you a couple of, like we'll share some of how stress affects our relationships, and then we're gonna offer you some ideas for what you can do about it. So when you think about it, when we're stressed, we're often in fight or flight, which has a tendency to show up in relationship as one, of, one person withdrawing. You know, we kind of go into ourselves, we quit communicating, one person shuts out the other person, and we become more alienated and disconnected from each other. Yeah, we might become less affectionate, distracted, superficial. You know, when I get stressed, I might be obsessing in my mind over what it is I'm stressing about. And it just has me, even though I don't mean to, it has me pull away from her. We also have a tendency when we're stressed out, I don't know if you guys know this, I do. <laughs> like when I get more stressed out, I'm more sensitive, right? It seems like I take things more personally. I'm more likely to notice like the negative behaviors. And when we're stressed, we're less able to stop ourselves from reacting, reacting right? We get more irritable, more hostile, which tends to result in more fighting. Yeah, you know, you just know that feeling when you have a shorter fuse. You know, I, I know that for myself. I just have a shorter fuse with, with everything. Yeah, we tend to vent. We've got less filters. We say stupid stuff that creates yeah. more problems. <laughs> we kind of set ourselves up to be in reactivity with each other. Yeah, and then stress is just depleting to us. You know, we get tired and fatigued inside. We can't think as clearly. We make more mistakes. Our communication begins to break down, like Sonica just said, you know, I might say, you know, come with snappy retorts that I didn't really mean, but it came out in a different way. You know, it kind of, stress kind of magnifies our worst traits. It brings out that not so great side of me. And it results in more conflict and more distress in the relationship. So we're, we're all aware that stress has a negative impact, not only on ourselves, our health, our emotional state, our physical well-being, but it does affect our relationships. So what can we do about it? Yeah, the, the first thing we recommend you do is you kind of, you break, break it down. Like what are the stressors, as we say, what are the stressors in your life? What is it that you're stressed about? Is it that you just got a pink slip from work? Is it that at work you have way more to do than you can handle? Is it because of something that's going on in your relationship? Or is it because your children are growing up and leaving the house and that's causing you stress? Is it health challenges, financial challenges? There are so many external things that can cause stress. So what is it for you? Once you identify what the stressor is, you can also then look to see what you do have control over. Right? There's this tendency when we're stressed to feel victimized and at the effect of some external circumstance. And there are certainly in life, you know, lots of times when there are things that happen we don't have control over. So it's really useful in those situations to look for, well, where do we have control? What can we take action around? What can we make a difference? you know, around in our relationship or our work world. Where do we have power? You can even shift your mindset from this thing is happening to me to it's happening for me, right? This is an opportunity or a challenge. It's, it's, an, it's a chance for me to step up and create some positive change in my life. Yeah, Sonic and I have actually often done that in our life when there are external stressors that we might not have any control over, we can't make them go away you know, financial trouble or COVID related trouble that everybody's experiencing these days. Like we still take on the mindset of, okay, here's a challenge that has presented itself. How are we gonna use this challenge 
for us to improve ourselves, for us to have a stronger relationship, for us to grow or learn something new. We just work with that mindset and it really helps us not get so stressed over it. And really, once you identify the stress and what you can control, we encourage you then to take action, like where you can. You know, if you can, if you're overwhelmed, for example, you might see what you can do to reduce your workload. You know, if you're feeling challenged physically, you might look for what are some things you can do to better, you know, create some better self-care habits. Yeah, can you get other people to do some of the work that's on your plate? It's a great way to de-stress. You know, sometimes you might be able to pay someone to take care of stuff around the house, or you might be able to talk to a coworker at work who can help you with your projects. We have typically, when we begin to look at, like Sonica said, what can I do? Then ideas begin to show up for where you can like, you know, I could reduce my workload there. I could work a little smarter here. I could ask this person for help. So, you know, asking for help is another really great way that we often don't do because, you know, many of us just operate on the assumption that I should be able to do it all myself. And so, you know, the thing I'll say too is notice that like, be aware that tiny actions can have big impact. You know, so another idea we would have is to create to, and cultivate some empowering daily routines that really help you feel good. You know, like C Christian started his day today meditating and doing Tai Chi. You know, I started this day thinking about how I could make a difference for the clients that I'm working with today. You, you do something that helps you feel good about who you are and about yourself and kind of lands you in your body and nourishes your soul. Yeah, and then of course there are the things we can do together in our relationship that really helps. We connect, we share openly about the stressors we have. Because you know, one of the, one of the things that often happen in relationship is when I get stressed, I, I take it out on you. You know, you're the person who's close to me. So you're the one who gets to feel my stress and anger. And then it, we easily become like adversaries as opposed to hang on a second. We're in this together. We're, we're on the same team here. So like have an open, honest discussion about what it is that stresses you. Get vulnerable and real about it. Even if it's, even if it's something you think shouldn't stress you, you should be able to handle it on your own. Like say that to your partner, that will really help to de-stress and de-escalate the situation. Yeah, certainly being vulnerable also can be enough to help you shed some of the tension that and stress and worry that you're carrying when you can just sort of let it, let it be there, get it out and, and have somebody help hold it with you. Yeah, so we hope, we hope some of that will be useful for you. And just remember, like I just said before, remember that your, your partner is not the adversary. You're on the same team. You can help each other de-stress. And we hope some of these actions will be useful to you for how to deal with stress in your relationship. And really, last reminder here is just be gentle and patient. You know, everybody goes through challenging times in life and know that this too will pass. And what can we do both individually and together that can help us navigate these challenges just a little bit better? Yes.